Boys, 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 what's happening? Uh, there's a huge update coming on October 10th. So let's go over it for the 5.5 uh, year anniversary. Um, the first two weeks, October 10th to the 23rd, we are going to have added story unlocked for the latest chapter. Um, there is going to be a newer unit, uh, a new unit dropped called the Great Hero Adele. He's going to be a physical DPS, fire and light. Um, he's mostly a boss killer in PvE. Uh, that's pretty much what I've seen from his kit. And then we also have the Lovesayas CODR, which I'm not a huge fan of. So this banner overall is definitely not the hype part of Anniversary. There's a ton of quality of life and ton of uh, just game improvements that are going to be happening in this update. So just keep in mind, this banner is OK, but like this is not the main point at all. Um, just before we go any further, October 24th, to November 7th, there is going to be a new unit and arc added that's kind of linked to Anniversary, probably linked to the story, uh, the update. So keep that in mind. If you don't feel like pulling for Adele first, there will be a new unit in two weeks and new and new arc. Um, Halloween event, popularity pull finals, and other event promotions. There's, there's other stuff in two weeks. Just keep that in mind. But for this maintenance notice, uh, let's go over what exactly we have. So we have this banner, of course. It's he's a Descent of Heroes festival unit. That means you know in six months, or I guess in April, mid-April, this Great Hero Adele will be on all other DOH banners. Isn't a perm unit, but DOH specifically. But the festival itself has a ton, ton, a ton of stuff. Just off the bat, we get a three thousand. Crystal uh, quest that is comes with pretty much anniversary. You just do it one time. There's nothing to kill. You just do it and get 3,000 gems. We also do get a UR arc trade ticket with this event, um, and that happens a week from the update. So you know the October 17th update. That's when we get the UR arc ticket. So don't expect and go into game and expect it day one. Um, in a week from week from when anniversary is released, that's when we get it. And it does have the UR arcs up to Soul Blade. So, I mean, a lot of people are asking, hey, what's the best UR arcs to get your UR arcs, UR arcs, UR arcs. Um, just go to Discord and, and ask about what the best ones are. I think we'll probably have a pin message in there by now or not by now, but by by the time um, a lot of people have to ask by the time this is out. So keep that in mind. There, there's a lot of good selections in there and, and it's very, very much account based as to what you have and what you don't have. So, yeah, that's definitely the place, best place to go to find the information on it. Daily free 10 spin gotcha. I believe we have 25, essentially 25 days of a free 10 spin each day. This is all like permanent banner stuff. So it's not like the crazy, crazy um, useful things in the game. But there are some good pulls in there, especially the older arcs. Some really, really good SSR arcs are in there. Some some, some OK units, nothing too nuts at the moment. Uh, but you get 250 pulls, essentially 25 multis or 25 days of a single multi. So pretty cool. Definitely, definitely take advantage of that. As for the login anniversary bonus, uh, this will come out with you can get luminous souls, crystals and more. Um, I don't know. I guess it's a two week login bonus. So make sure you're logging in every day and grabbing all that stuff from it. Um, and obviously, I can't see the drops on what it actually gives, but, you know, gives a ton of stuff, crystals and more. Printing promotions. These are important to know for the anniversary period. This is the two weeks of the first banner of the Adele banner, essentially uh, zero crystal crystals for um, story mode for for continuing um, free continues for multiplayer quests uh, soul spots are 1.5x double the friend points got for dominion bosses available and uh, increased drop rates for them um, just for reference the ability gates will be the second two weeks so like the next banner that comes out we'll have all the ability gate have you know boosted drops and, and double drops but yes this god for dominion will be the first adele banner um, rare item drop rates increased as well as twice as many dropped items from the bosses. This doesn't include the multiplayer drops, I don't think. Um, just the actual drops from the enemies themselves. So like your first screen, your your uh, quest completion screen, not the um, multiplayer rewards. And then more multi coins, of course, you know, this is this is a nice little bonus to just to help you get stuff from the multiplayer shop. As for another event that's going on, the promos that are going on, it's going to be the 5.5 year anniversary of last Claudia popularity poll. So the overview, you basically you vote for your most popular units. Now, I, I will say a side note of the unit that wins the popularity poll is going to get a shift in the future. This is, this happened last year with Megius, who won the shift or who won the poll. Um, and he ended up becoming a shift unit in what was that like June, May, June, somewhere around there. So the winner of this, if we all band together and pick the same one, which is probably it's just very hard to do. So the, 
the winner of this will get a shift unit. They want to know who the popular unit is, and if Megius wins again, I think they said in stream that he will not be getting a shift. So just keep that in mind. Even if he wins, the second place will get a shift. So he's kind of out. But you get crystals for your vote. Um, you can vote for all your units every day. It's, this lasts for 10 days for the prelims. And then we'll have a final, another final vote. Um, I think it's with the, they, they say with the 10 most popular from units from the prelims, and then we'll have a finals and see who wins. Vote for your favorites. That's the purpose of it. Um, if you want to get people in band together and vote for the same units and try to get a shift, uh, shift happening, that's cool. Uh, just do know that <laughs> JP is huge, uh, much much bigger than global in this game. So they will have a hell of a sh hell of a vote advantage in who gets a shift. So just keep that in mind. It may not work, but you know, you no harm in trying. The event of the Adele banner is going to last two weeks. Of course, it is called the Great War Ruin. Their heroes quickening released. Um, collaborative event between all players, event specific map. This is kind of like what we had with the Sonic collab with the Code Geass collab where it, you progress, right? You have to, we have to, as a community, we have to clear each node and then we progress along the dungeons to get to the final stages. Um, this is not a rush. It's two weeks long. We are going to finish it. It's not a big deal. Um, just make sure you're playing the event and getting all the good stuff that comes from it. That's all. Uh, there's going to be a ton of, ton of stuff in the event trade shops and the mission rewards. So definitely, definitely play the event. As for anniversary medals uh, during the event, we'll get a bunch of these. This lasts for uh, about a month. I think this is four weeks. Yes. Um, the event met the anniversary medal trading space is nice because it has a ton of stuff worth getting for every account. Um, tons of ultra clusters, gotcha tickets, um, a lot, a lot of materials in there. And the best way to get these, yes, you can set your friend points to grab these from when you send friend points every day or receive them. Um, but auto running in story mode gets you a ton and nets you quite, quite a bit. So if you have the chance to auto run during this month that it's available, um, I think it's like four, two to four medals per quest completed. But if you do like super quick one wave stages, you can get a ton, ton of, of medals very, very quickly and buy out that shop. The goal is to buy out pretty much the whole shop because it's just it's just free real estate, free, free, free materials, free real estate. The other events, uh, this is kind of classic with anniversary events. We get these kind of Redux events, Redux battles that we've had. Uh, they, we've, they've been power crept to, to all hell by now. Um, so newer units can absolutely slap them. So have fun with them. Or you can you know, ask for support, some, some support in Discord to try to help you out if you're super, super new, but you shouldn't have a bad time if you've been playing this for at least a month, um, in my opinion, but you know. Up to your account, really. Unit you know, play test quest, insight, unit you know, play test quest, and Charles of Sun Beast. These are all other things for two weeks. Um, Charles of Sun Beast you can pretty much ignore, but the insight unit you know, play test and the unit you know, play test is essentially, you know, practicing hero Adele, the new hero Adele, and then insight unit you know, play test is basically trying out the new Melza and the Shin that come out with their insight boosts, and we'll get into that in a bit. Training field. Um, this is going to last a week, so that's nice for bonuses. Um, to the units that you want to train, uh, give mother souls and unit souls, as well as huge, huge EXP bonuses. So make sure you're bringing a solo, unit with like a granite S support, or if you have the seraphic gate arc, make sure you're bringing that with this solo unit just to grab some huge EXP bonuses and, and max out your units from level, you know, 100 to 110 to 120. It's a, it's a, it's a nice event. Great hero Dell, uh, like, like we talked about, he's a DOH unit. This is going to be the DOH banner, uh, rate up. I believe you can get him. On the paid step up after lap three, which is essentially 31,000 paid gems, which is a lot. Um, yeah, just it's just a lot. Uh, the 5.5 year anniversary limited step up gotcha, like we just like I just mentioned, or I didn't mention this one. This was actually different. Um, this is the only the limited step up gotcha that has three different steps for a bunch of paid crystals that you can get. You are trade tickets, you are stardust, etc. What? If you're a spending player and you want to get this stuff, I, I genuinely don't really like the arc even. I just don't like the arc that much on this banner. So I wouldn't do this in the first place. But if you feel like you need yours, if you are a spending player who wants to collect, I mean, you do you at your own risk. You do get repair Stardust on here with a really, really big chance to get other URs in this. Um, and then, you know, it's not like you're just paying for these rewards. You're paying for a 10x with a high, high drop rate of URs and SSRs. Um, and then at the third one, you get a you are the specific 
UR arc trade ticket, or not your specific UR trade ticket. This has all of the URs in it, plus allows a sealed UR also in there in the pool to, to pick with the ticket. So again, paid spenders, if you want to buy it, go ahead. But I, I just want to suggest it. Now for the preferred hero units not held, 10 spin gotchas part one and part two, they kind of split up the units in here. Um, you can only do each one time, but you have, the reason they split it up is so you have a better chance at a unit that you might want, right? You can't pick the unit that you want, but it has a smaller pool in each of these. So the preferred includes these units. The other preferred banner has these units. Now, do I suggest grabbing this? Not really, but if you are miss, if you have almost all of these units in here and you're like, let's say you have all of these units and only engine Man Samurai Magius is going to be the only unit that's even listed to get, then he's pretty much guaranteed for 3000 page gems. That's very particular, very, very specific to your account. Um, I don't suggest spending on this, but you know, if you feel like you want to go ahead. Various ticket gotchas, of course, as just explained later, we're going to have during the event, we're going to have the anniversary ticket gotcha tickets, single, single pools, as well as the 10x, um, or at least one 10x to, to, to show us, uh, I guess that's from the shop itself. Um, so maybe we're not going to get from the event, but we do get single tickets from the event. That's cool. Super DOH tickets. This is from the paid packs. Um, one to seven feet heroes festival of menu. This is random. So. Now, keep in mind, that's just totally, totally random. Um, and I think this this is from the pack that's like 300 gems, 300 paid gems. Uh, so three bucks or four bucks or so. So if you want a free random DOH or not a free random DOH, but a random DOH unit guaranteed, three bucks, four bucks. The Zen of Heroes Festival Ultra, I always suggest to skip these the week long. Um, we have a ton of crap going on to spend your gems on. Please do not pull on this, in my opinion. So just keep that in mind. Just please avoid this at all costs. Now we get into Insight, which is early unit enhancement. This is their kind of like revising for units. Um, this is what they talked about with the OG Shin and the Melza, the White Knight Melza in the stream. Um, this is what we'll be seeing soon in the next coming months. Well, I think the ones listed were like Celios, Vaughn, Zuglas, uh, Saintly Theria, which is the Christmas Theria, and then Phantom Thief Robin, I believe is the next one after these first two. So keep in mind, uh, the older units, the ones before Roland and JP, so there's there's quite a bit of units the, before the very first Roland and the first year of the game, a lot of them are getting boosts to their kits, and, and they're pretty substantial boosts, I would say going off of the units that we've discussed, you know, in the live stream that we just had. Um, but let's go over what ins Insight is. It's essentially a boost once you get these units to level 120 and all ability pieces unlock. So 132 out of 132, which is enhanced six complete, essentially. Um, once those, once you do that, you can upgrade those units with Insight. Now, the only ones we have available at the moment, God Hunter Shin and White Knight Melza, which is OG Shin and the these are from like the very first month of the game from OG OG units. Um, I think this one is available to pretty much everybody from the beginners from the um, beginner challenge that you get. You get her for for essentially free. God Hunter Shin is, God Hunter Shin is still a gotcha unit, so it's still random, but he is super, super early of the unit. Um, there are a couple features in here learning skills there. Each unit has different skills that you need to be learning. You need to spend you have to grind the resources to get the Inspiralises to upgrade them. And upgrade Inspiralises are like a new material that you have to use to upgrade their skills. Enhance stats. This is where you farm um, in Pyra Gems, which you can use to boost the caps and or not the caps, but you boost to you boost their individual stats, which they need a lot of help with. Older order units have very, very low stats. So definitely a good thing here. Um, the boost. OK, just just summarize real quick. The learning skills part, we saw Melza's kit. It's pretty freaking cracked um, as a defensive tankish unit. Uh, we did not see shins yet. So I assume the learning skills and these will be very insight is going to be a very, very powerful boost for these units. Just FYI, I think a lot of them coming in, um, you know, in the future units, I, you know, Phantom Thief Robin is next, along with the other units that I mentioned, are going to have some pretty, pretty cool boosts. And I'm excited to see where this goes and how far they go with it. Um, boost point cap, input materials, sure, sure, sure. You'll have to exchange your excess materials. I believe the star rating is directly proportional to the point value that you're given. So you can do up the gold, um, silver, and bronze. That's essentially the input materials to get Empire Gems. You can trade them in and grab 
um, Empire Gems to upgrade your basic stats for the skills, enhanced stats right here. Yes, these have limits. I think this bronze is two star limit. You get anything two star material and above. Uh, silver is anything five star material and above and gold is anything eight star material and above. These eight stars are not farmable in story. So you're gonna have to use them from like, I think the most cost efficient use is probably the eight star limit break materials that you can use into this. But that's probably your best way of getting a bunch of Empire Gems every week. And now this, the problem with this is that it is time limited. Time limited, I don't highlight that. I'm limited every every week, essentially. So you can only do these and max these out every week, which is forcing the time getting of boosting all of your stats. Just keep in mind, you do want to make sure you do this every week because and if you miss a week, it's just going to push you back another week that you can get these materials. So even if you're not planning on making or boosting either of these two units at the moment, I do, do still highly suggest to start collecting the materials for a unit you may want to do may want to boost in the future. So absolutely absolutely get all the empire gems you can every every single week and again, like this says it resets every sunday um at dungeon reset new item list i don't like this item list reason being there's no farmable stages for this shit okay look at this multi world in sprouts which you'll need for skill learning red blue green purple rainbow in sprouts skill learning items you'll need for the skill learnings the problem is the places to obtain them are in the event rewards and the shops. There is no quest you can farm to speed this up for yourself. Which I find irritating because they're essentially just straight up time gating you from building your the older units. This is not no longer a grind. This is more so a wait, which I don't love. Um, now, these unit kits are going to be super powerful, sure, but it's going to take it's it's a forced time gate. Which I disagree with. Um, the pyro gems, ultra pyro and pyro gems, like we talked about. Event rewards, input materials, shops. Uh, okay, return of gems. Uh, this is you know grabbing stats back from, or the points back from spending empire gems. This probably doesn't really need to be used that much, uh, just because you'll just get more empire gems here and there. But maybe sometimes you'll need it. Transcend Dallas. It, it, these are going to be grabbed from the shops, unfortunately, but these will boost the for each stat and again even if you're not planning on using or using these two units that are that, that, that off that are off the rip the shin and melza do 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 be grabbing all of the in the materials to upgrade the future units that you might want to so these are available from the shops event rewards make sure you're grabbing all of these from the free rewards you can get on to another feature called the sub arc feature about sub arcs. Now this can be, you can be, you can read this in your, in your own time on the, um, in the event notice themselves. Um, but really you have a main arc that you're equipping on a unit. Um, like you do well, like we do do normally, but then you can equip essentially five different sub arcs, which can be used independently of each unit. Um, each unit can have five separate sub arcs if you have the ALC pass. I think it's up to three if you do not. Um, and you can use them to learn skills at the same time. So instead of going into a quest and only learning the skills on one arc, you can now do four to six arcs total at any given time, which is absolutely huge for skill learning. On to the next feature called battle skip or skip battle feature. Um, what is this good for? Well, the problem with this is that Zell, Zell EXP drop items, um, you essentially don't use anything besides the LC pass boost for e experience and, and gold and, and such. You don't get any of the boosts in game. Like your Granadus is plus 100% XP, your EXP ups, EXP up twos, your gold rushes. Those aren't going to affect the end, um, the end result. So unfortunately for a lot of things like EXP field, or infinite zelgate or any of these you're going and especially because these are all better in multiplayer and you can't skip a multiplayer you're probably going to be wanting to play them normally now for the skip battle feature where it's really good at is especially the ap field there's no real boost that you can do in game outside of the lc pass that can boost the ap that it's given to you um and we can now add up to six arcs if you have the LC pass at any given time. So the AP field battle skip plus sub arcs now 
especially has an auto set feature for making, you know, you can just very quickly one button press and equip equip six arcs essentially that are five extra sub arcs that are you haven't learned yet. Um, that plus the battle skip feature. Huge, 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 huge. Um, it's going to take, you know, a turn a four hour skill learning session for me, like 235 arcs. Four hours it, it usually takes me to learn all the arcs in the game. I mean, maybe a little less, three to four hours. It's going to take 10 minutes, which is an incredibly, incredibly big improvement for the game itself. So I'm very, very happy with this. I'm those, the AP field plus the skip battle feature, um, plus the, uh, I'm sorry, plus the sub arc feature. Huge, huge, huge for me. Now, another thing called the choice box. I don't know what this exactly is, to be honest with you. Uh, choose items that you can earn on your own has been added. This item is coming with your material. Choose any item from the line of machine for the corresponding number of choice boxes. And so this looks like it uses adventure metals. I genuinely don't know. I'm, I, I need to see this in game. I'm, I'm not really sure. I try to figure this out during the stream and I also didn't know what it did. The thing is, uh, the next item is called the adventure metals. Okay. There's an adventure metal trading space. It has like older um, arcs, I believe they're like older, older SSR arcs, like the first three years of the game or something like that, or like, you know, before October 2023, I think so, something like that. There's just older, older stuff in the game, equipment arcs, and you can trade them for adventure metals. Now, what is expected here? Um, I believe Barlene told us in chat something like you should expect like four or so adventure medals a month just from events. Um, you should expect one extra adventure medal from the premium LC pass. Now, I don't know what exactly it entails. So these two features, I'm not sure completely, but I do think this adventure medal thing is kind of like, you know, an ability to fill out your roster or your arc roster with powerful stuff from long, long ago that you have been very unlucky for. So like if you've been missing, you know, your sandworms, your your Caldinas, your mm, March of Saints, those three arcs, pirate ships, um, if you're missing those and you've played long enough to get it, acquire enough adventure medals while through playing events and playing the game and getting them, uh, then you can trade for them, which is really, really cool. So I think that's what it's about. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I uh, I hope I'm right. <laughs> so we also do have an update to the Descent of Heroes Festival and Crimson War Training Space lineups. Um, and of course, this is the units that have been out at least six months from release that are DOHs. So anyone that was be essentially between January and April last year, or this earlier this year. So we have Gilbert, Archbishop Mealy, and Kyle Knight, Plan now Knight of Pale Flame being added to all DOH banners from now here on out as an off rate, as at least an off rate unit. We also have their Crimson Ore being being added to the Crimson Ore Shop or Crimson Ore Trading Space. Gilbert, Archbishop Mealy, Kyle Knight, Flan, Pal, Kyle Knight of Pale Flame, I can't speak, sorry. Um, then White Knight, Mels, and God Hunter Shin are getting new Crimson Ore equips added to the Crimson Ore Trading Space. Um, this was announced that the units that are coming out and they're being, you know, boosted by Insight and released, they're all going to get a Crimson equip if they haven't had one before. So look forward to those i think they're going to be pretty powerful and i hope hopefully they are because they're probably going to cost quite a bit um the four thousand you know if there's two paid equips for them they're probably going to pay four thousand each or if they only have a single paid equip or now i call them paid equips but credential slash crimson or equip unique equip whatever you want to call it a single equip is going to be eight thousand crimson so if you haven't been saving up that's fine um just keep in mind that that will be a uh, fruit for the future improvement to comeback promos now, this is kind of cool. If you've been playing at least since if you made an account before the October 10th update, you will get this boost. Um, and essentially, it's it's encouraging people to come back to the game to see all the quality of life to play the game again. I get it. They're trying they're trying their hardest to grab people and bring them back to the game. Um, you do get some some offers here. Um, seven days of the true the standard LC pass, which I'm a huge proponent, a huge fan of the standard LC pass for like four bucks a month. It's a ton of quality of life. Now, do I wish it was already in the game? Sure, but for four bucks for something that I play every day, for a lot of people play every day, it's it's pretty cracked. And uh, with the boosted, 
with the now boosted two sub arcs, you know, having extra sub arcs to learn skills with. Pretty, pretty nice. You do also get an ability to spend some paid crystals if you feel like, you know, investing into the game right when you come back. There's some packs in there. There's some like UR select tickets that you can pay. Like it's like 6,000 gems for. There's also a, a dollar 120 pay gem pack for a single DOH unit selector ticket for DOH units or permanent units. Zekas 4 gate in previously. So bef before and including the 4.5 anniversary, which was last year, like October of last year. So it's 120 paid gems is essentially a dollar 20 USD. Um, it's up to you if you want to go for it. Now, you can do these if you want, if you're a paid player, if you do what you want, but um, not bad for comeback stuff. And I especially like the standard pass for all those days. Um, yep, it's pretty, pretty cool. Addition of LC pass perks, like we talked about, standard LC pass is getting uh, more slots for the subarc feature. I mean, the LC pass, standard LC pass is already goaded, in my opinion. Um, premium LC pass is getting an addition of adventure metal times one to the renewal perks. This isn't happening until November 7th, so keep that in mind. But, I mean, the premium and standard LC passes, for what they are, they do give some substantial stuff. Now, they are different passes. Keep that in mind. I know a lot of people are like, hey, I bought the premium pass. I should get all the stuff from the uh, standard pass. Well, it, they're designed to be different, so keep that in mind. Um, yeah. Other improvements. Adjustment to the training quests. Permanent quests such as the ESP field and the AP field will be adjusted. This was really cool. Uh, I don't know exactly how, how this is going to play out. I just think that's essentially you get infinite plays of these um, permanent EXP fields, AP fields and gear upgrade fields. And you get and you can spend orbs on them as much as you would like, which I really like. And they upgraded them to like the better versions of them. So like we've had like, you know, limited time, special AP fields, EXP fields that only last, you know, five plays a day. No, no, no. Now, now those are like the standard, which is sweet. Gold Rush field. Is something you can spend your orbs on and it, it will have improved zell return so i'm in, interested to see how much this is of course we don't know yet but tons of stuff here to play infinitely with your orbs if you want to and this this helps non auto run players get their gold or get their zell um a lot of people who do not auto run daily and do not play like leave the game running and, and farm maps um do struggle with zell accumulation so this will help a ton um, soul and special soul will be transferred into essentially the special one. Um, I think this is a great change. I think it's probably going to be like three quests, 50 each. I think this is just just a bonus for us. Soul field again, bonus for us. Either shard field and sh either field and shard field being more um, more recurring is a great thing for us. Eithering our arcs and getting a crimson ore and all that kind of stuff. Getting the ether rewards. It's going to be great. Um, this is one of my favorite improvements of the actual quality of life. Improve that ticket gotcha, that gotcha for which you don't have gotcha tickets for will not be displayed. If you guys have been around for like a, the lab events and multiple like summer events, like we just had the summer event plus, um, <laughs> plus the Star Ocean Valkyrie Profile collab, there was like 14 different friggin' gotcha ticket banners that were up. And I kept having to try, like, you had to almost keep going through, like, at least the way I did it. I scroll through each one and I would click to see if I had any tickets that I just missed while playing the game. Um, I did that multiple times. So having them just basically not show if I don't have any tickets for it is a huge boon for me specifically. I know some of you, at least out there, will appreciate that for sure. Now, we did reduce some skill costs of stuff in game. I don't think there's anything crazy here. I didn't look for this yet. Mega Drives down one, Auto Haste down three. I mean, I don't really, I really equip this anyways, but that's fine. Baron Square only going down one is an absolute joke. Um, it's still not useful. Giant Killing 2, okay. Heat Live, don't really use it. Abyss Gate and Shining Zot going down 2 is, I guess, useful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but for, like, meta strats and stuff, like, nothing too crazy. I mean, down 1 for these. 2, ooh, that's nice. Down 2 more for Counter Boost. That's more bonus damage. Uh, more room for bonus damage. Holy Aura, no, don't use that. Uh, no... Flame armor going down one. Okay, counter boost two going. <laughs> They're really trying to give us some extra boost, juicing boosts. Um, you are all force down one. Haste, fast haste down from five to three. Purple, okay. Weak point breakthroughs down one. Okay, nothing too crazy here, in my opinion. Nothing too crazy. 
Um, scroll bar to the skill set screen. This is huge. Uh, I wonder how to implement it, and you guys have to see in game. But uh, scroll bars are great, especially for like PC players. You can't really use a scroll wheel too well. You just kind of like grab and grab and move. Um, should be should be pretty useful. Addition of stocks for Melzer Prism White Knight in the friend train point trading space. I believe her max was. I think we had five prisms available. Um, in the you know that you could get her to you get her plus 10 without using god relic prisms so hopefully they add enough to plus 30 here aka like 10 prisms in the friend training space that'd be really nice we're gonna have app startup speed hopefully this is substantial i just hope that is i really do renewal of lc rewards uh this is like your daily mission rewards or your you know total mission rewards this doesn't happen until october 24th um, I believe they're adjusting what's added in there, so they might, might they might include some stuff for insight, like inspire houses or in pyro gems and stuff, which I do hope they do because limited stuff is annoying as hell. Uh, time gated stuff is annoying as hell. So now we get to some juicy, juicy information. Uh, here's something in the notice that I am not a fan of overall, but I was less of a fan until I learned exactly what its purpose was and, and, and realized what it was about. So there is a paid only arc called the Star Reader Country SSR arc that's being added to the game. Paid only. Keep that in mind. You can buy it for 4,500 pay crystals. It comes in a set, gives you all this kind of stuff. What's important about this arc is that it essentially has a glass record in Kenai equivalent spell. Now, if you've been, if you're relatively new and you don't know what that is, Home of the Star Readers is the spell I'm talking about. Restore medium HP and SCT 10 seconds to all allies. This is a glass record and Kenai equivalent, which means it's probably going to be 60 MP to use. It is a heal spell that you'll need 70% 70, 70 to 80% healing cast speed to use efficiently. But it get, every time you cast it, your entire party gets 10 seconds of SCT. It can also be used in coordination and synergy with spear breath so your allies get healed they get three extra sct every time they're healed so essentially making the spell give your entire party 13 sct whoever has spear breath on units like sm theory and units like s uh, and reyna who give a barrier every time they heal it gives them essentially super armor your to your entire party for the amount of the barrier you know for the damage of the barrier and healing spells are extremely good for casting speed we have a lot of healers that have fast casting speed for heal spells, which makes it a lot, lot easier to spam it. A high MP pull, fast healing cast speed. You can use this thing like last record in Keen Eye and absolutely freaking fuel your entire party as long as you keep casting the spell. Put a spirit breath on your allies. It just gets really, really crazy. Um, We've been waiting for a long time for Glass Record and Kenai to come back. We had the Adidas attempt to make a, you know, kind of main game version in, in the form of rotating hands, which is available on the UR Kronos arc. It is just a support spell. It has no heal. Um, it just doesn't really work that well, um, especially on auto. You can actually make allies lose health and your, which are right, another point of this heal spell is that on auto, if your allies are low health, your healers will use it if it's your only heal. Um, further producing a CT gain, um, healing them, giving them a barrier if you're using the right units. It uh, it has a lot of synergies that are really, really cracked. You don't need, you also don't need to use it on the healing units. You can use it on other units that regen MP or, um, you know, enabling units like Lelouch or like, you know, Telestio. You can get some fast cast speed and, and spam this on them. And it's just uh, the options are pretty endless with last record or key equivalent which is essentially the poem of the star readers not even talking about anything else in the arc i think this alone is yes it's 4500 pay gems which essentially cost you know every 1000 pay gems is essentially 10 dollars 10 usd 45 to 50 bucks to get that's what it costs to get this arc the good thing about this and it, okay so the bad thing about it is it's paid only i've gone on about how powerful it can be I'll probably make a video about it because it is very important to know how powerful this something like this can be. It is paid only, which sucks, but it is going to be around permanently. You do not have to buy it now. You do not have to look at it now and be like, hey, I need this. You have time to decide. Not only that, you have time to build up the paid gems for it. If you think you hey, 
I don't need this now, but I want in the future. I really, really want to get this for high value. It costs 4,500 pay gems. The premium LC pass is $10 a month. It gives you 960 pay gems. It also gives you 540 free gems immediately, plus 2,500 free gems over the course of the month. Um, plus a UR Stardust on, on renewal, plus 125 orb recovers every month, plus another SSR Stardust every month, plus four Prism Souls every month. I mean, those are the rewards that you're getting every month. Mainly, you're getting 960 paid gems with every time you buy it. In five months, you'll have 4,800 paid crystals, enough to get this arc, and you'll have five times all of those rewards that I just mentioned. So if you feel like you don't need this now, you can grab the premium pass subscription for five months and it will do it for you. Um, and you'll eventually get this. Now, I do understand the fact that, you know, I want this now. I need this now. I want to use it now. I get it. That's a total mindset. But if you want to be, you know, have it later, um, premium pass is definitely a way to go. <laughs> the problem is, again, it's paid only. What does this mean for the game? Well, it's going to be available for anyone that joins the game afterwards. It's going to be permanently available as a set in the shop. Um, anyone who joins has the availability to get one of the most powerful game breaking spells in the game. And it can be very easily used by a lot of a lot of players, um, more so than things like, you know, Honey Elixir, Winter Apples Pie. Those all those usually cost a little, or take a little bit more finicking to do. This is very, very straightforward. I don't love it again, paid only. It is relatively cheap. This is this is and by cheap. I mean cheap in the extent of how many how much people spend on gotcha. Um, now, if you're a pure, pure free to play player, I guess they're telling you to kick rocks. <laughs> it's just it's just what it is. Um, I don't I'm not a big fan. I am more so happy that it only costs 4,500 4, pay gems because a lot of arcs in the past have costed like, you know, the 9,600 gem packs, which is essentially 100 bucks. Um, this is less than half of that and for something that's actually game breaking. Now, if you have, if you've been around, around long enough, if you have less record, if you have Kenai, I hope you would, you know, have the common sense to know that you don't need both. Um, if you have those already, you don't need this. Rotating hands, not even close to an alternative to this. This is by far the best CT spell in the game that you have available at the moment. That's not collab. So, absolutely by a mile. But I think I've talked enough about it. Uh, let's go on to the next thing because I could talk about this for a long time. <laughs> so we have some anniversary sets. Sure, if you want to get these, great. Uh, these are all, again, most of them are paid. There's a free set in here with some some free stuff, but again, not that not that important, but just make sure you go grab it. Hard to give me advice on what paying players should and should not do. I don't think these are that much worth it, but you decide for yourself. Check the trading spaces to what it, it offers uh, before you buy these. I think, where's the 300 one? This is the one that I was talking about before, the 300 pay crystals. The hero set with a super DOH ticket. I believe this has a random DOH unit in there. Um, yeah, up to you. Or like what? Three bucks, four bucks. Yeah. Shop updates. Now there's also some stuff here for, you know, the crystal packs being updated. This is really not that important. Um, extra medium, a new crystal pack, extra medium. So maybe like a mid range pack that isn't as, has a proper paid gem placement. I have no idea how much that costs, but um, that's going to do it for the maintenance notice, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know this has turned into a long video, but I, hope, try, I try to get all my thoughts out there for the update. And hopefully it helps you guys understand as to like, you know, what what to grab, what not to grab, what to look forward to. Uh, the inside stuff is really, really interesting. Um, uh, I don't his banner is Adele's banner. I'm not really that interested in, but more so. Login bonuses. Yes, uh, I'm looking forward to the insight stuff for sure. Uh, I'm looking forward to um, the choice box stuff, which I don't even know about the adventure metal stuff, which will be a nice little like almost account filler for a lot, a lot of people for older arcs. I'm really looking forward to their Crimson Ore uh, equipment for Melza and Shin. Um, the improvement to the LC passes, the improvement to sub arcs and learning skills. And this paid arc is something that I will get just because I'm a collector. Um, but I think a lot of people will probably be pretty divisive over it. So um, this is going to be around for forever. So 
keep in mind permanent 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 which is really really cool so guys i hope you guys enjoyed i will see you in the next one see you later